Hello and welcome to this video on changing bases. So we have a vector space of dimension two and there are two distinct bases B and C. And there's a relationship between points in B and points in C. And we're giving a vector in the vector space. We have coordinates of a vector with respect to one of the bases. And we want to find coordinates of the vector with respect to the other bases. So let's see how we work with this problem. So notice that the fact that we have coordinates 3, 2 with respect to basis B tells us that our vector X can be seen as 3, B1 plus 2, B2. And the coordinates with respect to the new basis C will be such that X can be written as a linear combination of C1 and C2 with weights X1 and X2 correspondingly. So we can try to plug in what B1 is in terms of C1 and C2, and the same with B2. And that way we will get X as a linear combination of C1 and C2, and that way we will get to see those weights we need to use so that X is a linear combination of C1 and C2, and those weights will be coordinates of X with respect to C. So here we have three times B1, and B1 is six C1 minus five C2, and then plus two times, and B2 is four C1 minus three C2. That way we have 18 C1 coming from the first bracket, but better the first multiplication, and then plus eight C1, that's uh, 26 C1, and then minus 15, minus six, that's minus 21 C2. So as a result, the coordinates of X with respect to the, the basis C are 26 and minus 21. That's it, that's what we needed to find in this problem. Now, I want to notice uh, that there is an alternative reasoning. When we write X in terms of B1 and B2 and then write B1 and B2 in terms of C1 and C2, we're changing bases, right? That's the process of changing bases. And we could have obtained the coordinates of X with respect to the new bases, new bases C, by multiplying a matrix by the coordinates with respect to the basis B. We could have said, okay, B1 is 6C1 minus 5C2, and then B2 is 4C1 minus 3C2. To find that, to get coordinates of X with respect to C, we multiply this matrix by coordinates of X with respect to B. That way, when we multiply the matrix, we have there, that is 6, 4, minus 5, minus 3, by 3, 2. We perform the same operations we were doing with coefficients here on the right. We do 6 times 3 plus 4 times 2, that's 26, and then minus 5 times 3, minus 3 times 2, that's minus 21. And that way we say we get to the same result. Now the, the advantage of working with the alternative is that we don't have to you know, start working with this expression and plugging in, but instead we work with uh, computation is in a more compact way. The matrix A we see here, the matrix in the, in the we, that shows up in the process of changing bases is a matrix that is called a change of coordinate matrix. This is a matrix we use to change coordinates. We're going from coordinates in 
the basis B to coordinates in the basis C. So we're going from B to C. OK, so that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, let me know. Um, write comments and I will try to address them as soon as possible. Bye bye.